Come on, dance, got to dance. Does anyone like my new glasses? Oh, what is going thing. on, you lot? So far, we've had a very slow start today. We've had a lion, now we're going out for breakfast, and I've lost my bank card. So, breakfast is on Aisha. I'm joking. I'm so, we're going to go and try out a new breakfast place this morning. It's called Truffles, and it's in Bromley. <laughs> Really long. God, look at that selection of cars. Fuck. That's my dream car. And then Aisha's dream car. Wow, that was nice. Very, very cheap. On a scale of one to ten, I'd say food was a solid, if we're comparing it to my favourite restaurant in, breakfast restaurant in London, I'd say it was a solid for me, 7.5. What would you give it? Ten, because it serves halal chicken. <laughs> and it serves halal chicken, which is really good. Bank card retrieved from Tesco's Extra. It wasn't where I thought it was. Way, oh, she's happy because she can now spend all my money. Now, opened and bound. And then we're going to do a few subscriber questions. Whoa. One that we have, we've been asked so many times. Do not get scared of how quickly I reverse them. We're on a hill, Aisha. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> one that we've been asked so many, a question we've been asked so many times. We're going to answer because um, they keep asking it over and over again. So I found the question. It's from CC Rocker. It's there. Not even in focusing. There you go. And the question says, I would like if you talked about your relationship and how you met and being gay. I have never heard you talk about it. Interesting question. Because we're not really gay. Aisha's the least gay gay person you'll ever meet. Stop! It's that's life. offensive. How do we meet? We're going to split it into three parts. How do we meet is the first part. How do we meet, Aisha? We met in a gym in DW. No, we DW's didn't. In Canterbury that Emily now goes to, but I refuse to go to. We met on the stair mill. I was, at, I was all up in here... Oh, well, how do you say it? Up in her. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a total bullshit story. Okay, she tells everyone this story. When, how did you know me at the gym? She thinks this is kind of some kind of amazing story to tell people. It's not. Okay, we met through. The real story is we met through. I look really ghosty. So we met through a, a mutual, mutual friend. friend. Yeah. Okay. I used to work with her, and then she had another set of friends. And guess who was part of that set of friends? You? No, you. Oh, me, yeah. Aisha had another girl on her case at the time. I, I never met Aisha. For ages, I'd never met Aisha. I'd only ever, ever heard about her. So I I asked Emily what Aisha was like. So Emily pulled up Facebook, as you do. You do, you do your stalking. And she showed me a picture. And I was like, damn. Oh. And I was like, motherfucker, this girl's hot. And I, I was like, I need to get it. I need to get her. So I was like, right. The next thing I do, I was house at the time. We were throwing a party. I was like, the next thing I do... We need to get to come along to this. This was like after kind of meeting your nights out, isn't it, as well? That, the rest was history, basically. No, after that, we met at Emily's birthday because she had a birthday party in her farm. Yeah. And there was no lights, and I looked after you the whole night and then yeah. dropped you home. And you were house-sitting, and then you were house-sitting for a few weeks. So then the next weekend after that, you said you, f you were throwing a party. And guys, when I tell you I was ill, I don't know if you know how ill I was. I lost four pounds. I remember thinking, oh, I've got to go, because if I don't go, then you're going to think, I don't fancy you. <laughs> so then I just had this packet of crisps that was plain, because that's all I could stomach, and then I went, and then that was it. And then, on, really. And then, so we, we was together for four months. Aisha was living with a flatmate at the time, or it was a housemate at the time, and I was with my parents. We went to Turkey together. Uh, at this point, I wasn't I wasn't ill at all. I was just had 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 cancer. Uh, just, uh, after four months, we went to Turkey. First holiday together was amazing. It was so good, wasn't it? So good. And uh, while we were in Turkey, I got a phone call from our landlord, basically saying that the, the tenant the, the lease is up, basically because her housemate at the time has moved out and said that they both don't want a house anymore. So I was like, brilliant! I'm not going home to a house unless I find someone else. That's where I stepped in. So then we moved in together. We lived together for about a year and a half. Yeah. No, it was longer than that. Two, nearly two, two years, maybe. Just, I think it was just under two years we lived together. We didn't want to rent another place, um, so we decided to. Um, and, and at this point as well, Aisha got her new job. Really, 
So we, you know, the whole time we were living together, Aisha worked in retail, I worked at the same place I work now. It was amazing living in that house. Like, come think, looking back at it, we had such a good time in that house. Having that space together was amazing, and I think that's what we miss so much now. And then after that, we moved. I moved in with my parents. Um, we trialled living together at my parents, but with Aisha's work now, it definitely doesn't work. It really, you know, it's just totally unrealistic, isn't it, for you to be travelling like that? Just a quick update on what we're doing now. At the minute, um, we are living apart in the week. I'm living with my parents and then just working my ass off at work and then you're doing the same with your parents and then seeing each other at the weekend, which, you know, is, is new. Again, it's, an, it's another change and it is hard, but the weeks go so damn quickly at the minute that you don't even have time to breathe. You know, I, I get to, it's Monday and then it's Friday. It's like, there's no in between. It just doesn't happen. Oh. So yeah, that is the lowdown on how we met and what has been going on for our relationship. The second part of the question was how do we find it being gay? I just forget about stuff like that, really. I just, stuff doesn't really bother me. I'll tell you what I do worry about being gay is having kids. That's literally it. Yeah. So give me the babies. So that is the story on our relationship. CC Rocker, hope you found that a bit of an insight if you're still watching my vlogs. Thanks for the question. Now it's time to do a bit of shopping. Oh, Let's go. What, what would you do with it? Fear. I mean, I, might, I feel like I might break it. Wrecking the joint. We're all going to look for a teapot. getting Aja some petrol, petroleum, and then I'm heading to the gym because she's a baby and she's letting me go on a date day. No, it's not really a date day, it's just a day to spend together after not really seeing each other in the week. It's hard, especially if you're not living together because it's just, you know, other people want to do stuff as well. And But actually, before you know it, you haven't spent any time together at all. I feel like my channel's turned into a relationship advice channel. It's not that. <laughs> She's warming her fucking chocolate up. It's cold because <laughs> I just bought it in the shop. Better? Look, Phil has some cold bridge. Time for a gym session. People always say to me, just give yourself a break. I don't want to. Taste test, white chocolate, grenade shape. Oh wow. If you like white chocolate. Oh shit, that's really good. Anyway guys, I'm gonna call that a day on the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, it wasn't really anything going on in the vlog. I just wanted to answer some questions that people have been asking because people ask so many questions and I never get round to actually doing a vlog on them. And Aisha needed to be in this one. We've had a really good day. She's gone and got nails done while I went to the gym. You couldn't finish it on a better note, could you? And we're gonna go home, chill out, and probably hit the sack quite early. Another week off of treatment, feeling really good. I can't even explain. I know you're probably sick of hearing it, but I'm not sick of hearing it because like, you know, it's after two years of being on treatment, it's bloody lovely and I can't believe I've not been driving for two years it's mental absolutely mental so yeah guys any more questions I really 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 want to ask them all for you I love you lots thanks for all your support love you bye bye